Yeah, so it is early in the morning and I am leaving here in half an hour. I just did some measurements here on the neighbor's ute and we can fit the solar panels and the rail, the roof rails easily into his um, car here. So this should all fit perfectly. The only thing I need to do is take off whatever he put in over here. I'm not 100% sure how I will put them on the truck here. I can either put them upright against the wall, uh, they will fit in between here, or I can lay them down and they are a little bit higher than the actual wall is, so I can really strap them down with some uh, cloths and um, other fabric material I have with me. Yeah, so we really have to see when we are on site how, how large they are. They are 1.7 meters by 1 meter. And this is 1.8 meter in between, so they so they perfectly fit on the on the back of the truck here. They are four centimeters high, and I've got seven panels, so 28 all in total if I stack them up. And this is only 25, so they are actually a bit higher than the wall here. So I can strap them down, put some blankets and cloths and other fabrics I have on top of it and underneath, and and protect the panels. And then we've got the roof rails. They are four meters long. So they fit perfectly in here. They are a little bit higher. So they go probably until, until the windscreen up here. And then I strap them down. So this all should fit perfectly. Yeah, I, a couple of days ago I went on Gumtree, which is our local... Well, we can, we can sell and buy stuff, you know. And I was looking for a small used solar system. 1.5 kilowatt. And... As you can see there are many on here because a lot of people are upgrading their systems now to larger ones. 1.5 is probably six, seven, eight years old here in Australia. That's where, when people started putting solar panels on their roof. That was the smallest system or it was the standard system you could get. And now they are all upgrading. So there are heaps of used um, systems on the market including inverter, roof rails, all the bolts and nuts. And I could get one for $200 all in total. Here there's worth 301 solar panels to 40. So you can get solar panels for $30 each. These are just inverters, 450. Yeah, it looks like I made a really good bargain here. $200 for a whole 1.5 kilowatt system. And they took it off the roof last week because of an upgrade to a larger system and until it was just working fine. Got seven panels, 180 watts or something each. And today is the day when I pick them up. And I got an email last night as well from Alibaba that my batteries are being sent. So I can expect them in the next 20 to 30 days here in Australia. And I'm really looking forward to get these big battery cells in here and then we start building this battery in Andy's garage and see how we go. That will be an interesting project, definitely. 3.5 kilowatt hours battery, $750 delivered to Australia here, including all shipping costs and taxes and everything included. So if you buy four of them, you've got 12, 13, 14, kilo, 14 kilowatt hours for less than three grand. So I've got heaps of old cloths, linen, blankets, everything in here, which we can use to um, protect the solar panels then. And I've got some straps here and more straps here probably. Yeah, let's put them all in one box. Yeah, this one was another interesting offer here from someone in Springfield. $390, 8 panels, 1.5 kilowatt with inverters, roof brackets rails all in good condition recently removed off roof due to install of more panels they're all upgrading so i got in contact with him as well but man i found one half price of that so i took the half price one of course but still 400 dollars i mean you get everything and you can sell the inverter alone for 400 dollars maybe again here on gumtree so you get all the panels and roof racks and cables everything for free all right Let's pick up the solar system for Andy's off-grid garage.
vehicle, and that includes The ride quality in this car is not quite the same as in the Tesla. But it um, gets the job done, right? <laughs> this is AM radio. So we have now loaded everything on the ute. These are the roof rails, roof racks. This is all secured. And we've got seven solar panels here packed in a stack, tied down to the ute. So hopefully this all goes well. It's all secure. And I also have the inverter here, solar power, and the Wi-Fi module for it. Yeah, this inverter comes actually with a Wi-Fi. So we've got everything here, which we need. Okay, let's go back home safely. Okay, Google, navigate home. All right, home, let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's go, yes. Jesus. So now comes the most disgusting thing ever. I need to fill up this car with diesel here. It has a manual locked gas inlet. <laughs> I hope it's only a small tank. Oh, that's disgusting. The smell. $31.57 I paid and the tank was not even half empty that's what I usually pay for the whole month in my Tesla all right we made it home safely everything is still on the car so we haven't lost anything all the panels are still flush so nothing has moved excellent all right and the sun is shining already cool all right let's unload and uh, clean the panels a bit So here's what we got, 700, what are they? Let's have a look. It's Canadian solar. It doesn't mean they're coming from Canada. They're just a Chinese firm. Uh, 220 watts each, and I've got seven of them. A little bit over 1500 watts. So the voltage in MTTP is 29.2. It's a bit lower than usually, but you can see the open circuit voltage is only 36.6 either. So this is usually over 40, about 44, 45, 46 volts. A current 8 amps or 7.5 in the maximum power point. 1000 volts system voltage and 16 15 amp maximum series fuse rating class a fire rating c 
Does that mean? Yeah, of course, they're all coming with MC4 connectors. Well, I'm really stoked, guys. I'm really stoked. This is 1.5 kilowatt of solar power, including a Wi Fi inverter for $200 cost me $30 to fill up the car and I will give Bob $50 for lending me the car. So less than $300 all in total including transport for an awesome system. Yeah, I'm just doing an open voltage test. We've got about 34 volts now in sun but it's a bit cloudy it's a tiny bit cloudy so we are not getting the full 36 volts or something but they all have the same 34 volts 34.2 so the solar panels have now been stored here in andy's garage i cannot believe there is actually a 1.5 kilowatt uh, inverter with it with the uh, wi-fi module there's the Wi-Fi module and this inverter is only one and a half years old he told me so it looks pretty new as well I will sell this one on Gumtree again so probably I get another 250 300 dollars for the inverter alone and then I got the whole system for free <laughs> that's just amazing so seven panels yeah all right what an exciting day today can't believe I picked this one up in the ute, in the neighbor's ute. <laughs> and now we have to wait for the battery to arrive. And then we can start putting everything together. Yeah, and while we are waiting, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel here so you can follow me and my journey to take my garage here off-grid. Yeah, I guess it will take about two or three weeks until the battery arrives here from China. And in the meanwhile, I will start designing and mounting the solar panels on the garage. So we will spend some time on the roof in the next couple of days, do some measurements and we have to also cut the rails a little bit because, oh well, I will show you later. And then we have to have a look around what kind of solar charge controller we actually install here. If we use only one or if we use two, I'm not 100% sure right now, but I'll share my thoughts with you later before I actually make a decision and buy one. Yeah, so far here this first video of, of the off-grid garage, of Andy's off-grid garage. And I'm really excited to get this project up and running soon. And then we disconnect the garage here and have everything running on solar and battery power. It will be very exciting. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for coming with me today. Yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video very soon. Thanks, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.